As you know, The Last of Us launched on PC faced a lot of technical issues. Unfortunately, since then, Naughty Dog has been regularly releasing notch fixes to improve the game, and today they have announced two upcoming updates. One which is a hotfix 1.0.1.7 that was released today, and the other one is a patch that will be releasing on Friday. And in this video, we'll take a look at this new update and see if there is any improvements in terms of performance, VRAM, RAM usage, and shader pre-compiling duration. So without any further ado, let's get into it. But before that, today's video is sponsored by Awesome. Are you tired of being stuck at your desk all day? Are you searching for the freedom to use your computer from your mobile device? Look no further than Awesome Remote Desktop. This is a free to download software that allows you to access your desktop computer using your mobile device anywhere at any time. And it's available for Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. Additionally, you can play your preferred PC games with ease. Like here, I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy from my phone, and the game feels very responsive thanks to Austin's ability to support up to 144 FPS. Furthermore, they offer a lot of features, such as fully customizable keyboard for game controls. For example, I want to use my broom, but the top key is missing. All I need to do is go to Edit, Keyboard, and add the top key and customize it. And now I can easily access my broom and all items. And they offer great prices for paid versions, and you can save up to 40% on your purchase. And they even have a smart power plug that allows you to shut down or wake up your PC remotely using your mobile device, making remote control even more convenient with fewer drawbacks. The first 200 people who download and use this code will get 7 day free trial. So don't miss this opportunity, go and download now and use the code at the description. And big thanks to Awesome for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to our topic. Regarding shader pre-compiling, I have not noticed any improvements between 1.0.1.6 and the new 1.0.1.7, and both versions building shaders took almost the same amount of time. Now let's take a look at the performance side and I will be using my optimized settings for my previous video. And let's start with the GPU bound scene. Here I haven't noticed any big difference between the two versions, but the RAM and VRAM usage seems to be lower in the newest version. And here in this CPU bound scene, it's the same story, almost similar performance, but lower RAM and VRAM usage in 1.0.1.7. And before we wrap this up, I want to inform you that NVIDIA has recently released a hotfix driver that should fix any random crashes that occur during gameplay. So if you're experiencing such issue, I recommend trying this new driver update and I'll leave the link down at the description. And that's it for this quick video. I hope you like it and find it useful. If you did leave a like and if you didn't leave a dislike, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for any future videos and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.